Hi, thanks for clicking on the link to this video. I'm at Nudgee Beach today. Nudgee Beach is a fairly small suburb, uh, about 18 kilometres northeast of the Brisbane CBD. It's on the waterfront on Moreton Bay. There's a very small town here. It's quite interesting. Um, if you're in the area, it's well worth uh, snoop around if you're interested in that sort of stuff. It's an older suburb, so there's lots of nice trees in the streets. I'm not here today for the suburb. Uh, there's also a mangrove walk um, along Moreton Bay and around the back of uh, Nudgee Creek that will take you along. The mangrove walk starts from this car park here and you proceed out uh, in this direction. Anyway, this path takes us out to a bird hide. You can see a bush turkey scrabbling in amongst the seaweed there. Can't say I've seen that before. Here's the bird hide. It's not much of a structure. Uh, it is quite clean. Great views, especially uh, like now when the tide's fairly close to the top. Might be, might be able to see over there. That's that's Sean Cliff. That point over there. That's the mouth of Nudgee Creek. While this um, mangrove walk is in, well you can see it's fairly old, it's in quite good condition. I think this bit, bit here has been renovated. It's a bit more recent than the part we were just on. Here's another view of the mouth of Nudgee Creek. Got a couple of kayakers over there. Here's another nice beach right at the mouth of the creek.
And if you look closely, you might be able to see that the tide's coming in. The bubbles on the surface of the water are flowing up upstream. And I've, as I've said at the beginning of this video, I've been here before. And that, uh, across there is a boat ramp, but I've looked on Google Maps and there doesn't seem to be any road down there. There's a lot of mangroves behind it. There doesn't seem to be any way through to that that uh, boat ramp. It's a bit of a mystery. Before I started this video, um, I liberally doused myself with Aerogard. Um, I keep away the insects. I knew there was going to be a lot of mozzies, mosquitoes around here. Uh, I was right about that. And, uh, the guard's not working as well as I'd hope it uh, would have, so I'm just going to hurry along. I don't know if you can see that down there. The bubbles coming out of the holes that crabs make once the tide goes down, clear out the places they hide. And then the bubbles mean the tide's coming up and if you look closely, well, at least I can see that the, the water's flowing towards us over the mangroves. Uh, it's rising quite quickly. Might be able to hear those bubbles. It's quite amazing, I've never noticed that before. Here's another view of the river. And there's that mysterious boat ramp again. I'm just not sure how they get there. Well, this is the second time I've been out here. Both times I've really enjoyed it. I, I've come out on a Tuesday today. I think the last time was a Monday or a Tuesday too. Um, I'm not sure what it's like on the weekends. I can guarantee it's a lot busier than it is today. But um, I've really enjoyed coming out here. Just found an area with a couple of benches. I'm just gonna sit here and have a coffee. It's as good a place as any. There's some nice views. I think I've got some more insect repellent in my backpack. If so, I'll certainly apply some more. Anyway, I'll bring you back in a minute. Voila. Okay, so I've got a caramel latte, three-part coffee, and a note bar. What more could you want at a location like this? See them all packed up. My rubbish is in this uh, pocket there, taking everything with me. Anyway, I'm going to sign off. Uh, I've applied uh, the RID. It's supposed to be good stuff, but I think the mosquitoes have read the labeling. It's, uh, it's a little bit uncomfortable here. Um, plus, they seem to be able to bite through my, my shirt. Anyway, I'm going to sign off now. I, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I might catch you on another one. Bye for now.